Welcome once again, friend, to Daily Moments, Daily Moments of Inspiration. You know, the devil sure is a roaring lion. He walks about seeking whom he may devour. He certainly works on us. It's a good thing that we're children of God because the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord, when the devil comes in like a flood, when the enemy comes in like a flood, that the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. And so it's a good thing that the Lord is on our side. Now, if the Lord's on our side, who can be against us? And so we trust in the Lord our God. But, you know, the enemy does come in like a flood. And sometimes if someone is really trying to do something for God, you can be sure in one thing for certain that Satan is your enemy. Now, if someone is not doing anything for God, and friends, if, if someone is just sitting along and doing nothing and coasting along, doing absolutely nothing for God, well, you can be sure Satan will just leave them alone. He's not worried about them at all because there's no threat to his kingdom. But now, if someone's trying to do something for God, trying with all of their might and with all of their heart, you can be sure that the devil's going to do everything that he can to discourage and do everything he can to cause us to be downhearted that he might hinder our faith in God, which hinders God from doing what he would like to do in us. Well, let's see what the scripture has to say that would encourage our hearts because this is what we want to do. Taught reading over in Joshua, the scripture says, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given you, as I said unto Moses." from this wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun. That's speaking about the Mediterranean Sea. It says, that, that shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. Now listen to what God is speaking to Moses. He said, There shall not any man be able to stand against thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. You remember, Jesus said, I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Praise God, the promise he gave to Moses is a promise he gives to the church. It's a promise he gives to you and to me by faith in God. And he says, Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And then he said, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Friend, if we walk in the Spirit, if we do what God commands us to do now in this dispensation of time, this dispensation of the Holy Ghost, this dispensation of grace, when by grace we're saved through faith and receive the wonderful gift of the Holy Ghost, Friends, we can be filled with the Spirit of God. And the Scripture tells us to, if we be filled with the Spirit, let's walk in the Spirit. Let's be filled with the Spirit. Let's do everything in the Spirit of God. Because if we do that, then the Lord our God is with us where, whithersoever we go. Be strong and of good courage. This is the command that God gives unto us. And then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host and command the people, saying, Prepare you victuals, for within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. Now, Joshua had a job to do, and so Satan was surely after him to hinder him and to cause him to doubt, to disbelieve. He had a job to do, and that was to carry the children of Israel over the Jordan River. And do you know what? It was at the time in which the Jordan River was at the flood stage. It was at its greatest height. 
naturally speaking, it would have been exceedingly difficult for well over a million people to have crossed over that Jordan into the land that God had promised to them during a time of war when their enemies were ready to face them and to fight them off. But he trusted in God. And friends, if we trust in God, if God has to do a miracle, God will work a miracle just the way that he held back the river Jordan until they crossed clean over to the other side. And then the scripture tells us this. It says, speaking during the times of the kings, when the kingdom of Judah had come into being, it says that there was a king by the name of Asa. And Asa had an army of, of uh, well, it was 800 and almost 875,000 men that Asa had out of Judah and out of Benjamin. But Zira, the Ethiopian, came against him with an army of over one million men. And they were well outnumbered. And the scripture says that Asa the king cried unto the Lord his God. And he says, Lord, it's nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee. And in thy name we go against this multitude. O God, thou art our God. Let not man prevail against thee. You know, to have a leader like this, isn't this what we need? This is what we need to lead America. This is what we need to lead the world. This is what we need to lead nations of the world. Leaders that will stand up and pray to God and make statements like Asa the king said. And it says, So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. And then the scripture says, The Spirit of the Lord came upon Azariah the son of Odeah. And the, and the scripture says that he went out to meet Asa. And he said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. See, the Spirit of God came upon him. And it says, The Lord is with you while ye be with him. And if ye seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. And so the spirit of prophecy came upon this man. And it says he continued in his prophecy. And he says, Be ye strong therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And friends, I say this unto you, if you'll walk in the spirit, and if you'll do that which is well pleasing in his sight, and seek God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, your work in God shall be rewarded. Don't be haphazard. Don't be halfway with God. Be all the way for God. That God might bless you like he blessed Asa the king and like he blessed Joshua. And it says that when Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Odin the prophet, he took courage and he put away the abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all of their soul. And they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire. And he was found of them, and the Lord gave them rest round about, and the heart of Asa was perfect all his days. And so they totally, they totally offered up their lives unto God. They totally entered into this covenant with God that they would seek the Lord, that they would search for God and seek God and give God all their heart. And because of that, and they put away all the idols and the false gods out of the land that God might be first. And the scripture says later on the days of David the king, it says that David said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I am believing to see the goodness of God in my life. Are you believing to see the goodness of God in your life? It says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait I say on the Lord because God will bless your efforts in God. God will bless your determination. Be of good courage. He will strengthen you. He will be with you and you shall not fail. He will be with you. Praise be unto God until you cross over that Jordan into the promised land. May God bless you following with all of your heart. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.